In these problems, we are trying to apply our handy shortcut for factoring a difference of squares. And when we use this shortcut, we're, we're looking for two chunks that are separated by a minus sign that you can easily take the square root of. When I look at this one, I see two chunks separated by a minus sign, but it doesn't look like I can easily take the square root of either of these. Hmm. Well, if we're clever, we might be able to see a common factor we can take out before we try to apply the difference of squares. In this case, I could take out an x for sure from each of these. And let's see, they're also both divisible by 3. So let's try that. Let's take out 3x. So 27x cubed divided by 3x would leave 9x squared. That's looking promising. And then 75x divided by 3x would be 25. Aha. So now we do have a difference of squares. Let's go ahead and take the square roots of these two things in the parentheses. So this is 3x, and this is 5. So to factor that out with the difference of squares, we can write this as 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 5. But we have this original factor that we took out, so we have to include that in our final answer as well. And that's your final factorized form. Now this next problem here, it looks like it's a difference of squares already. And, and it is, and you could uh, approach it that way. Uh, but if you take a factor out first, sometimes that can simplify things. I'm going to try dividing out a 4 here. So 100 divided by 4 is 25. And for v squared, that would just leave v squared. Now this is a difference of squares. I've got 5 and v. So I could write this as 5 plus v times 5 minus v, and then our original factor that we took out of 4. So this would be our answer. Now, if you had approached this the other way, uh, thought of this as a difference of squares first, the square roots would be 10 and 2v. So you'd have 10 plus 2v times 10 minus 2v, but it's not completely factored or not in the simplest form because each one of these parentheses, you could take a 2 out. So this is 2 times 5 plus v, and this is 2 times 5 minus v, and you'd multiply those 2s together, you'd get 4 times 5 plus v times 5 minus v, and that's exactly what we got up here. So that is a little bit of work with factoring first before you use the difference of squares.